latched onto this as, well, God, he snitched because there's papers that say that linked Duke to this crime. And now Duke didn't end up going to jail, um, oddly enough, uh, which is why God, he says, look, I didn't harm somebody by, you know, confessing Telling. to this crime. Right, right. Um, now, bear in mind, like, this is all street stuff. And mm-hmm. I am a middle class nerd who plays Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Civilians. Most of the days. Like, yeah, I don't, like, my standard for what snitching is is not relevant. I don't understand any of this. <laughs> like, the, uh, but within the community, like, within the, like, the street community and the rap community, this is apparently a faux pas. Like, it's really not. not. It's really not. People he, just he do not. He would have had under- to say something. What, what's happening? What, I watched this happen. I literally watched the, the news come out of what I saw the court thing. I was like, oh, people are not going to understand this. And it instantly went from, oh, yeah, God, he must be the one. Must be, he done took the whole while. It's not. It's nothing like that. He played out. I mean, he played guilty. He took time. So I, I don't doubt that there's an inside informant right now. Like, and there's just way the, too much stuff that's go. going on. Like, but I don't know who it is. How do they, it's like, how do you, how do you know who was in the car? That's, that was my first question. Uh, for sure. When they said they knew who was in the car, when you said that they they're like, "Yo, yeah, Gotti was in the car on the way to kill." Now, how do you, any, how does anyone know that? Right. Well, Somebody did, in the car also, would have to tell you. And well, well, also, he when he got thrown out, how do we know that the police weren't alerted that this happened? You talking about of, magic? Outside of magic. That City. was a. Ah, you know what I wouldn't call it popular. There was a video that was going around yeah. eventually. Now that video so is nowhere to be found. Now two incidents. I have that video. Really? There I are cannot two find that video. incidents. At Magic City with Lil Duke. Um, Free Duke. The uh, Duke uh, went back there at, sometime later and got thrown out again and was shot in the leg. And um, Duke's suing Magic City, <laughs> which ought to be a bigger faux pas. Let me just put that out there. <laughs> like, that ought to be, like, on the, on the scale of crimes in Atlanta against the culture. Right. If you like, can't snitch, then you can't be suing because you got shot in the leg. <laughs> so, but especially Magic City, by the way, is a chain. I didn't realize this. And they mm-hmm. have huge lawyers. Like, they've got all the lawyers. And there's this deposition out there that's basically lays out. Like, they deposed the Atlanta Police Department's, like, gang unit. And the gang unit in the deposition, 100 pages of, yeah, we think this is what you've all been up to. And like, if, if, you, if we're going to support the theory that they have been looking into this group since 2015, all of these incidents that are happening around it, Within, without these years, he, somebody didn't have to make a phone call from inside the car. That phone call could have come from so many people with him constantly going to Magic City, getting thrown out, the fights happening there. Police could have been alerted. They could have already been watching them anyway, especially the if they fight, pulled him over. The fight was like the last couple of years when the, the car incident happened. That was 2015. What, what, what I find interesting is the fact that you say that the investigation seems to start 2015. That is the height. Of young thugs. Yeah. Like, that's literally like he was broke before that. 2014, 2015 he happens. He meets Birdman, Rich Gang, goes on tour with Rich Homie Kwan. And everybody knows why Rich Homie Kwan and Thug fell out. Kind of this, actually, now that I'm saying it. Kind of this. This is this is the point. I actually think that the DA has been wanting this to is all do new something to me. for a while, but hasn't wanted to like run into the buzzsaw that is. Of the public. Of the public. She's and, getting death threats. Yeah. The. The, the thing with Duke, like, and this deposition, like, people have been asking me, how have I been following all of this? Like, where I see... You're an investigator. It's on right. Twitter and I mean, Instagram. I, I read the court case. I mean, it's just that simple. Like, I said, oh, yeah, YSL is going to get indicted. Yeah. Because I'm looking at this paperwork. It's all there. And it's all there. And I, I didn't have to be some super sleuth journalist. I needed to spend $20 on a deposition. Right. And suddenly I'm, oh... Like, this specific investigator has been watching Jeffrey Young Thug Williams since he was 14? Yeah. And what? Would, and that would be around 2009, 2010. Yeah, like, Oomphoon was This is all new stuff up. to me. 